bringing the people behind our food to life. We're located here at Miles Lake Sonar Site in between Childs Glacier and Miles Glacier on the Copper River at the Million Dollar Bridge. The importance of this location for our sonar site is that it's the first bottleneck in the river um, coming upstream from the ocean. Here at this site we have a single channel with relatively high velocity which forces migrating salmon closer to the shore, ensuring that we get an accurate count with our sonar equipment. So if counting these fish involves counting them one by one with our tally whackers. In high passage, we could see fish as much as say 90 fish a minute, and in low passage could be as little as two or three fish a minute. The importance of counting the fish and getting accurate counts is to manage this fishery as sustainably as possible. Um, the major goal of our hourly counts is to minimize and completely eliminate um, the potential for overfishing. So from the daily salmon escapement counts, those numbers are directly applied to the regularly scheduled fisheries openers for the commercial fleet um, here in the Copper River Delta. We are primarily interested in sockeye salmon escapement, mainly because it's the largest run of salmon this river sees. There's also Chinook salmon run and a coho salmon run. Both are of commercial interest, but their numbers are very little in comparison. Um, for instance, we've seen over a million sockeye salmon return this year and it's looking like it'll be close to 50,000 Chinook salmon this year. The Copper River commercial fishing fleet depends on the data we collect here at this site. Ultimately because this is the only management tool used on the Copper River and it's written into the Alaska State Constitution that the state must manage fisheries for sustainability. So if at any one point in time um, this sonar site goes down and we happen to be not operational for a technical issue and we aren't able to count fish, then it's written into the law that they must close the fishery until we could properly manage that. Therefore, it's highly important um, to maintain this fishery.